What is capital budgeting? You will understand better if you understand this example. What are the objectives of capital budgeting? There are three objectives are there. First one, evaluation of all investment proposals. Evaluation means what? Detail checking. What is the payback period? At the end of fourth year, you got back your one lakh. That is only payback. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your other sir here, lecturing with Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the first session of your topic called financial management. Under financial management, we are discussing almost the last topic called capital budgeting. Now, under capital budgeting, what we are going to discuss, and today we go with all theory RS concept. Don't miss this class. Why? Because without concept, you cannot work out any problem. Now we'll go for the agenda. The agenda will be very simple: your concept as well as meaning. So, what is capital budgeting? So, before we go for the definition and all, I'll tell you simple meaning. What is a capital budgeting means? I'll give you simple example. You have a mobile. You have mobile. So, one more mobile. There are two. Now, you have mobile now. Just assume that there is a old mobile, old one. There is a new one. What is capital budgeting? You will understand better if you understand this example. Now, you have two mobiles here. One will be old. One will be new. Now, in this. The old mobile it got corrupted. Now your old mobile it is not working. It is out of order. And new mobile it is there in the shop. It will cost you around ten thousand. And your old mobile you have to get it repaired. The cost is six thousand for repair. Hope you are clear. You are clear with the example. The question is. There are two mobiles are there. One mobile at home, one mobile at shop. Now, at your home you have a mobile. It is not working. It is out of order. If you give it for repair, it will cost you six thousand. And RS, I don't want to get it repaired. I'll go with the new mobile. It will cost you ten thousand. Now, the question is. You have given six thousand for this, and what is the life of the mobile? You have given ten thousand for this. What is the life of the mobile? The new mobile, they tell that you will get five years life. The old mobile, they tell that you will get two years of life. Now, you only decide: should I go for old? Should I go for new? Hope you got what is capital budgeting. Now. So understanding, taking decision whether should I go for this, whether should I go for this, that is called capital budgeting. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, if I go for old mobile by paying six thousand, after two years I have to go spend another ten thousand. It will be sixteen thousand. Now, if you go for this mobile in ten thousand, I can use it for five years. These are the calculation happens in capital budgeting. Should I use the existing machine, or else should I should I go for the new machine? That is a project. That is a plan. You should take decision after doing your capital budgeting. To do all this, we have many techniques are there. What are those techniques? I'll explain you almost at the end of this session. Clear? To do all this calculation, we have some techniques. Which are those techniques? I'll tell you at the end of this session. And your whole syllabus are based on those techniques only. Now. Capital budgeting is a process of evaluating investment and huge expenses in order to obtain the best return of the investment. Whatever investment you made, from that returns must be more. Now, an organization is often faced with the challenges of selecting between 
टू प्रोजेक्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट आर द बाई वर्सेस रीप्लेस डिसीजन आइडली एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वुड लाइक टू इन्वेस्ट इन ऑल प्रॉफिटेबल प्रोजेक्ट बट ड्यू टू द लिमिटेशन ऑन द अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ कैपिटल एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज टू चूज बिटवीन डिफरेंट प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट सी there are two projects are there you have to select should i go for this should i go for this and one more before you purchase four wheeler what you will do should i go for second hand or should i go for new car all this what you will do if i go for second hand if it comes for repair i have to pay if i go for new one one year it is a free service all this you will keep it in mind if i go for new mobile the cost will be high i have to pay interest if i go for old car the cost will be less interest will not, will be less only all this you have to keep it in mind while selecting your project while selecting your decision now what are the objectives of capital budgeting there are three objectives are there first one selecting profitability project capital expenditure control finding the right source for fund selecting profitability project means if there are 10 projects are there you have to select two or three which are profitable which gives you more profit then capital expenditure control what will be the expenditure for that project every project you have to analyze which is a less expenditure less cost you have to go for that then finding the right source for fund once you selected your project from where you can invest the sources you have to identify but remember i told you select the least price but it not be the worst one even though it is the least price the returns must be better even though the rate is moderate it will gives you more return then don't go for the least price go for the moderate for huge return now these are the objectives of capital budgeting now what are the process we have there are almost five process are there the first one identifying investment opportunities then evaluation of all investment proposal evaluation means what detail checking detail checking detail checking now choosing the most profitability investment there are four five options are there which gives you more profit go for that capital budgeting and apportionment after that you have to do apportionment in the capital budgeting last one performance review once you selected you evaluated you invested then you have to go for review whether your decision is good or bad now techniques of capital budgeting now as i told you at the end of the session i'll tell you what are the techniques you have in the capital budgeting there are total almost five techniques we can call it as one will be pay back period this we call it as npv this we call it as arr this we call it as irr and this we call it as profitability index in your exam which one you have to concentrate you have to concentrate on payback net present value irr and profitability index irr they will ask you but the chances are probability always less so we'll go with irr also at the end before that we'll complete these four now will understand what is payback period very simple your investment is 1 lakh so just i'll give you example you invested 1 lakh and you purchased an auto your investment is how much 1 lakh what you purchased auto now in the auto first year what is your income your first year income is 30000 second year your income is 25 third year your income is 35 fourth year your income is 10000 and fifth year your income is 
forty thousand. These are the income generated from your auto. These are the income. So how to find out payback period? Payback period means your investment is one lakh. Yes. Now thirty thousand in the first year. We go for cumulative. What is cumulative? First year your income is thirty. Second year income thirty plus twenty five. Your total income fifty five. Total income ninety thousand. Then, if you add ten thousand, it will be one lakh plus forty one lakh forty. Your complete problem I am doing here itself. This much only your capital budgeting. But we have discount factors that I'll explain you while doing the original problem. Now, we have to find out payback period. How to find out payback period? Now, in this. Your investment is one lakh. When did you get back your investment? Again, I'll repeat. Your investment is how much? One lakh. When did you get back your investment? First year it is thirty. Second fifty five. Third ninety. Fourth year yes. In the fourth year you got your investment. What is the payback period? Four years. Hope you are clear. What is the payback period? At the end of fourth year, you got back your one lakh. That is only payback period. Hope it is easy. Now, after payback will come for net present value. Net present value. What is the net present value here? Now, net present value. I can give you simple example. So. You have one lakh forty thousand. Your final income. What is the total cumulative income? One lakh forty thousand divided by divided by. So not divided minus actually minus. What is your investment? One lakh. Your answer is forty thousand. So you got answer of forty thousand. This is called NPV, net present value. Hope you are clear. Yes. IRR. I'll come later while doing problem. IRR also I'll come later while doing problem. Now we'll go for PI. What is PI? Easiest one. Whatever you have did minus here, we'll take the same value, one lakh forty thousand divided by one lakh. Your answer is one point four. This is called as profitability index. Hope you are clear. We'll go with original problem. There is no changes what I did today, but only the tax portion will come and your depreciation portion will come. And finally, we have one thing: your discount factor. Other than these three, we have covered almost everything. Now, this is all about your today's session. I'll go back to all the slides. Please take screenshot. So, capital budgeting, meaning your objectives, process, techniques, and we have conclusion. What is the conclusion we have? Capital budgeting is a pre-dominant function of management. A right decision taken can lead a business to the great heights. However, a single wrong decision can inch the business closer to shutdown. Your wrong decision because capital investment is a huge. If you are taken wrong decision, your company directly goes down. So the number of funds involved and the return tenure of these projects. These are all your capital. Budgeting. Yes. So this is all about your today's session. Next session will go with complete problems and will complete within four sessions for this. Thank you.